Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we are going to see Anypoint CLI. So Anypoint CLI, it's a command line interface or we can call it as a command line utility. So MuleSoft provide a command line interface which can be used with your Anypoint platform uh, components like uh, Anypoint Exchange, Runtime Manager, API Manager. It can be also used with your VPC, dedicated load balancer. So Anypoint CLI basically is used you know, for deploying application to Cloud Hub, for creating the VPC, for managing the Cloud Hub application. So it's a command line utility. Using this command line util utility, you can perform many things like, you know, you can administrate hold your uh, runtime manager using this command line interface so let me move to some sl other slide so any point platform provide a scripting and the command line tool for both any point platform and the any point platform private cloud edition this command line interface support both interactive cells and the standard CRDA modes and work with any point exchange we have discussed that access management any point runtime manager that also you can use like uh, any point CLI to deploy application in the cloud up to restart the application to stop the application so it also can manage your VPCs like create the VPC it describe the VPC it can list the number of VPC in your cloud up it can create a cloud up load balancer it can manage the API manager it can also work with design center so there are few things can be performed by uh, any point CLI so before uh, doing uh, before we start executing the any point CLI command so there are few prerequisite that we need to set up on our machine so first you have to install node.js then we have to install git and you have to set up on your machine so basically you can go to node.js.org slash en slash download depending on your operating system you can download a binaries in my case it's a windows installer it's 64 bit I, I will click on this it will download that then uh, let me click on this it will download it okay the next thing we also have to download the git in my case i will download the git for windows so in case depending on operating system you can download that i will say download okay once it it will download then we need to start setting up uh, this particular thing so let's wait till it's downloading a node.js and the git for us the installation will be simpler it just say next 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 that will do the installation but I'm waiting for my download to complete So git has been, I can install git. Okay, so you can say next, next. You can say yeah whatever you want it uh, you can select that I can say next okay next 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 whatever like you know use native window whatever option you can select it say next 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 okay so let uh, I will down node.js also so you can say next I accept the conditions next 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 install so this may take some time for installation okay sometime it quicker sometime it takes time ok 
look at this just uh, ignore it so I git is installing and like you know and apart from that uh, there's a good documentation on anypoint CLI okay so you can go through that MuleSoft uh, uh, provided very good documentation it have all the list of command which can be executed you know to perform various activities so this is the documentation you can go through that it provided all the uh, prerequisite which we require so I'm waiting for my installation to complete so once installation is complete we need to download a npm anypoint cli package we need to install that it's very simple once uh, so for that to execute this command we have to make sure node.js is installed completely so let me copy this command So it's a npm install minus g any point on CLI at the rate of latest. So it will download the latest version at the rate of latest means. So yeah, I told you like sometime it takes time for the installation, but it will it will be you know, done in next two or three minutes. So guys, like uh, it's very important utility. It can be also integrate with your CI CD pipeline. Okay, so. okay good so both has been completed I can say finish finish the next step open a command prompt in administrator mode and run this particular command npm install and say enter so now it will install it will is start installing uh, any point CLI package so it may take time one or two not more time like it may take some one to five minutes depending on your connectivity okay it has been installed so you can see all your package you know uh, I will tell you where you can see all the package so you can go to see users and whatever your username under username you can go to app data by default the app data folder is uh, maybe sometime it is not visible you can visit make it visible you can go to roaming under roaming you can go to npm here you can see your any point CLI utility is available okay next step we need to uh, you know again so this is where it's download all the required package any point CLI package everything is there and these are the utility uh, which we will going to use now you can go back to users Jitendra Bafna under that you can create one folder called dot any point this is the folder name you have to create it okay so there is already folder exist with this particular name it's not a folder it's a file so new folder dot any point so it's a uh, dot any point folder you need to create within dot any point you have to create one file that is known as a credentials okay so you have to create a one file I can say new text file I can remove this all I can say credentials okay you can say yes I can edit this particular file open with you know uh, your notepad then you need to copy this particular parameters so default you have to provide a, your any point platform username in my case okay you have to provide a organization name so your any point organization name you have to provide a environment name 
ओके सो दिस आर द थिंग्स यू नीड टू कॉन्फिगर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्फिगर अदर प्रोफाइल यू कैन डू दैट हियर ओके सो वट एवर अदर प्रोफाइल यू हैव टू कॉन्फिगर इट यू कैन डू इट हियर गिव मी सेकेंड आई विल जस्ट पॉज माई वीडियो सो गाइज वेलकम बैक सो इफ यू हैव मोर प्रोफाइल्स वी कैन प्रोवाइड यू नो अदर प्रोफाइल्स हियर सो फॉर नॉ लाइक आई विल यूज द डिफॉल्ट वन इन केस इफ यू आर नॉट प्रोवाइड एनीथिंग अदर प्रोफाइल इट विल यूज a default okay you can save this so this is all any point credential i can save this and you know then you can go back to your app data folder you can go to roaming and you can go to npm and you can just say cmd okay and then you need to execute a command called any point cli username and you can give a username Okay, so this is the command you can execute. So it will try to connect uh, any point platform. Give the password of your any point platform. So it it is trying to connect any point platform. If everything goes well, so it has been successfully connected to the any point platform. Correct. Okay. So this is what we need to set up. You know. Uh, uh like for your any point cli so basically these are the things you need to set up to enable the any point cli to on your machine so i hope you like this video in next video we will see we will try to execute some command like we will try to deploy the application and like you know we will try to deploy uh, application into cloud hub using any point cli then we will also try to create a vpc using any point cli we will try to we, we will try various other operation in uh, in upcoming video so this is the prerequisite for my previous uh, by for my next video okay so you need to set up all this thing i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button